seeing there. Sorry we're a little late, but I had to do a live interview for CTV so I could promote everybody here tonight. So we're getting started a little bit behind, but we'll get back on track. Good evening, everyone. I needed a peppy song to kick off the ceremony, and I chose Coldplay since it's my dad's favorite. I know I don't necessarily have lips like sugar, but the sugar fit in well with our sweet success theme. As you're soon all going to see and hear, all videos and songs in our ceremony relate to sweets. I'm sure you'll be guessing which song will be played when you receive your award. This is our way of keeping things light and fun, and we hope you enjoy it. I'm up first now, just for a few minutes, to welcome not only our new batch of award winners to the winner's circles, but BizX suppliers and friends, and to recognize a few companies for their help. BizX Magazine is proud to be presenting our 16th annual awards gala edition, recognizing the best businesses in Windsor, Essex. Whereas it's a great feeling to win a BizX award, we are equally as proud of all our nominees, and some are even in the audience tonight. I ask now that you stand and be acknowledged. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Thank you. Our November-December awards issue is a milestone for us, and it is our 160th issue. How sweet it is is definitely a phrase that comes to mind for all of us at the magazine. Planning this gala and publishing the accompanying awards issue always takes a lot of hard work, and it's definitely a team effort. I've had a lot of help from my family who are completely dedicated to helping me. So thank you, Mom, Dad, Della, and Jack. I could not put this together without your support and assistance. Thanks as well to Chad for always pitching in to lend a helping hand. As well, I must also acknowledge key BizX team members like sales associates Darlene, Chris, and Isaac, photographers Rod and Drew, designer Ray Marie, award story writer Steve, Veronica, and Jason, and a great freelance team of photojournalists, including my good friend Dave Holliday, who's been with me since day one, who all pitch in to make this another fantastic awards issue. As you'll hear, my list of people to credit is extensive. But getting back to the awards, I cannot forget to compliment my judging team. Some tough decisions were made this year. There were many worthy nominees in the competition, a record-breaking 290 to be exact. I'm sure you all agree the judges did an outstanding job. Throughout this ceremony, you will have the opportunity to meet most of the judges. And we also have celebrity presenters from CTV Windsor and Blackburn Radio. Moving on to the gala, I must acknowledge our major mint sponsor, St. Clair College for the Arts, for hosting our event for the fourth time. I think manager Joe D'Angela, Christina Fry, chef Steve Meehan, and their staff have done an excellent job, and I'm sure you will agree. Thank you also to the Motor City Community Credit Union for sponsoring our opening reception, which was produced using local food items. I also must express my gratitude to our Candyland sponsors, Diane Spencer of Designs by Diane for the beautiful decor and the peppermint forces on your tables. Collins Formal Wear for outfitting our men in their designer tuxes. Big Time Presentations for producing our TV show. TV Kojiko for broadcasting these ceremonies. And the Trophy Boys for the beautiful plaques you will receive and proudly display at your workplace. Sweet 16 sponsors, Mars Media, Limos by Mr. J, Festival Tent, Pro Tender Security, Pelion and Wines, St. Clair College Mediaplex videographer Darren Breckles, musicians Pat Pejano and Nino Palazzolo, Spencer Creative Group, and Windsor Fire Rescue are all included in making this evening sweet-tacular. <laughs> but it does not end here at the awards ceremony. The celebrations continue with the Biz Mixer at 10 p.m. to benefit Sparky's Toy Drive, featuring a raffle of thousands of dollars in gifts and also some dancing. Be sure to get your $5 ticket from the firemen in the next room. Please buy a few and let's make sure we collect a huge total for our charity. And if you enjoy this evening, we also hope you can support our Land and Sea Fest January 18th that takes place right here again at St. Clair. This all-you-can-eat meat and seafood event is going to pay for one high school student to attend St. Clair College's journalism program on full scholarship. With that said, now let's start the official award ceremony. Wow, I got a, I got a home for this baby. I can't wait. <laughs>
you this know, industry is uh, it's it's a tough industry sometimes, but it's really great. It's so rewarding, and the staff that we have and the synergy that we have with um, Catherine Sarkis, Carly, Crystal, we work so well together, and I think our sta our clients just really pick up on that, and we have a lot of fun every single day. And it's just, it's really great. I, I just can't believe we had hundreds of votes of people who nominated us and, and just believed in us. And it's a good feeling. So I just want to say thank you. And I want to say thank you to BizX. And thank you to the judges. Um, you know, we really took this seriously. And I'm, I'm glad that they considered us. So thank you very much. Have a good night. This is incredible. I can't thank everybody enough. Deb and Darlene and the whole team of PhysX. They've been with me from the start. I really appreciate that. It's been three years we worked so hard and my husband's been by my side. And now I have a soft team. Zena, Ashley, and Cliff. You have my trust, admiration, and faith. I believe that moving forward now, we're going to exceed all my expectations so we can serve our community, especially our seniors. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate everything.